Hello my friends, uh, today in my video I'm going to show you another trick on Mastercam. This trick allows you to view the section, the cross section of a park or an assembly. Um, because Mastercam at the moment uh, it does not allow user to do that, like other software like SolidWorks or any CAD software. So uh, that's a little bit of inconvenience for some complex park where you want to see the cross section at some point and yes for example this part you can see this uh, cover and it's not so complex but uh, by some reason you want to see cross section of this hole because uh, like uh, you have some roof here and you want to view the profile of the roof uh, you can uh, check it by change to the wireframe mode but uh, it's not so clear right yes uh, so if you want to uh, check a cross section of this park just check a view and you cannot do any measurement yes just see the shape of the cross section okay so how we do it master cam uh, allow us to view the cross section of of the part of the stock when we do the simulation so the, the, the trick is we will bring this part into the simulation environment okay how to bring it to the environment yes very simple you just go to the stock setup and instead of select rectangle you can select solid and we will select uh, the part we want to view the cross section to be the stock okay now you, you can see we have defined this part as a as stock okay and then to make the simulation we we have to create at least one toolpad so you can create any type of toolpad you want for example a drill operation yes any any kind of toolpad you want yeah, okay Only one tool pass is enough. All right, now we move to the verify selected operation. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Normally, you will see something like this because we define our park as the, the stop, so we can see this park, and you just uh, activate the stop. You just select stock to display now select work piece okay just select the stock to be displayed okay now how to view the cross section okay you can go to the verify tab here and you can see we have three options of cross section okay x y the easy and the z x okay for example we want to make a cross section in this direction of view and go to this z x clipping and you can select clip front to remove the front section front part or uh, clip back this will remove the back section okay so now you can see a clear cross section of the park and the groove you can uh, do some uh, simple measurement uh, yes using the point and distance function yes you can pull this to move the cross section along the path the park okay you can see we can move this we can move this yeah you can see there's a thread here and if you want to clip in the yz plane you can check on this yes and now we have another cross section we can check the part yes did uh, have you check when you do the machining or if you just want to check the cross section of the part to see uh, the detail of this 
yes and also in the x and y plane you can check okay, yeah clip top okay like this one okay that's the way we can uh, check the cross section of our part before we do uh, during we do the machining and yes for example I have another example for you okay for example I want this year cast cast the part and I want to uh, do the finish machining some holes for example okay and I make a picture you can see I uh, just create a picture to hold the part during machining yes and the part will be mounted on a picture like this and clamp into the picture using some uh, strap clamp here okay you design the picture you put the part into the picture but you can see uh, the outside of this part you can see uh, this is the outside of the park. It's not simple, it's quite complicated. And when you design a fixture like this, you want to cut off some uh, material. So you want to make sure there's no intersection between the park and the fixture. Yes, you want to cut out, you cut all of the material. So there are no intersection that's a lot of part um, can be uh, yes correct a light onto this look these locating pins yes and no contact here there you want to make sure that there, there is no contact here on this area so how you can see because when you put the park onto the fixture you can see anything under the park anything between the park and the fixture if you change to white frame it's, it's still very very difficult to see if there are any intersection between the park and the fixture so you are not sure if the fixture is is good or not it well designed or not so another tool to have you to, to check the fixture in the park when they are assembled is to use the cross section we use cross section to, to check if there is any intersection uh, area between the park and the fixture okay and how you do it we will not uh, do it on a simulation because uh, uh, we cannot select mon multiple solid uh, as stock so uh, this is another way we will use the model prep function and the push pull function to, ch to check the fixture okay to use this function, any of these function in the model prep, you need to uh, remove the history of the solid. So you can see on the solid tab here, I have no uh, uh, extrude or any uh, solid function. You need to remove history before using this function. Okay. So how we can check the intersection between the part and the fixture? You can use the move push pull function here. This function allows you to move the face of a solid like this one. Okay, you can see when I move it to the cross section, you can see uh, if as any section the part still uh, uh, contact or uh, intersect with uh, the fixture, so we can modify the fixture. Okay. For example, I will push from the front, the front face here. We can move like this, and we can check. Yeah, you can see here. We have a. We have a intersection here. That's that tell you that the fixture is not good and you have to modify this error okay and you can move further into here
it's still not good when you move to this uh, pin yes you cannot cut through the pin why because um, because the, the face you want to move is uh, smaller is uh, it's not as high as the pin so when you move further it cannot cut create a cross section of the pin so it's uh same when uh, you you push this face you can see when it go to through the pin it cannot cut it cannot cut through the pin because the area of this face is not cover the pin okay so the trick is uh, I'm gonna create a solid I create a, a solid face uh, we can cover all of the part or the pin here it's very simple for example just uh, create a a temporary and then we can remove this later okay I think you understand what I say okay for example I want to create a, a rectangle here we create five minute width with 260 playing I create this one I'm gonna move it to the bottom of the, the fixture and then I create a solid select uh, solid operation solid tool. I will make a solid with the cover all of the pin all of the fixture for example like this yes make it high enough this is so too high you can move this a lot of this. a little bit of lower just make sure it's cover all the part of the fixture when we Take from this direction, yes, it covers all the feature of the fixture. Okay, now we have this solid. This solid, we will combine it. Right. <laughs> yes, do you see it's complicated? I don't. I don't think so. Yeah, we need a boolean. We will combine two solid into one. Oh, whoa, add. Okay, so we combine two so solid into one. And now, when you push, we are gonna remove history of this solid. We go to a modern prep, push and pull, and click on this face. You can see before we doing that, master can will um, make it have uh, make us uh, remove history, solid history before we continue. Okay, and after you remove history, you can freely move this face. And when you move through the, the, the pin here, you can see it cut through the pin like this, and you can easily check the intersection. You can see we have a, another intersection here between the fixture and the park, so that will not work. So we have to modify the fixture in this section. Okay, we uh, move further to see if we have any other intersection. Whoa, 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 whoa. Make it slowly. We have another one here. Oh, okay, this one is okay. No intersection. Yes. But the intersection still here. Yet we have to modify this error. You can see the intersection. How about this side? You can check in the right on the right side to see if we have any intersection between the park and the fixture it's not a good uh, good way but at least that work you can see all right it's very close not intersection but very close and you want to yes extend just a little bit to make sure the clearance is good okay you can see in the bottom no collision no intersection okay that's good on the, the bottom surface but on the side here that's not good so okay so we have a uh, check uh, cross section in this direction after that we can remove this 
solid okay oh sorry we'll put in back five millimeter okay to make it uh, the yes we remove this we create it and now we remove it we just create a so solid here to to view the cross section and we do the same if you want to take a look from the front we also create another solid okay just remember how far you go with it okay all right Yes, you have to create a, a solid that the solid face the cover on of the part you want to make the cross section. Okay, we want to create a solid here. You can see this can cover all the pin. You, you even go through here. That's enough to cover all the pin. You can go a little bit higher okay and then you combine this one with this one uh, solid woolen check this and this okay we do a add woolen to combine two into one so now you can push this go to model graph and push and pull remove history and then you can push like this you can see now we can cut through the pin here yes we can see the intersection Okay, now we pull solid to see if there are any intersection in this direction. All right. Yeah, you can see here. Oh, big. Um. Uh. Um. Yes. This. Uh, um. I forgot to create a hole for for this uh, pin, so you can see the intersection here. <laughs> That's crazy. So you have to make a hole here. Yes, to avoid intersect with this part. Okay, we can move further. All right, let's see if any intersection. You can see here intersection yes we have to modify the picture as the area okay so that's all for today i hope this can help you um at least when you check your picture you check your park and to see if any um intersection between the picture and the park and that can cause misalignment during uh, the picturing process okay okay i have uh, this video is useful for you and don't forget to subscribe and press like if you like the video okay thank you for watching and goodbye for now